One summer day, an unexpected chill coated the air. A nippy chill went down Sally's back while she was still waiting for her favourite holiday of the year. The cruise ship holiday! Sally was surrounded by hundreds of people, but she felt quite alone. Her baby brother Jack was screaming. Ah, ah. But it was understandable as he is 18 months. The cruise ship was hundreds of football pitches big. When she eventually got there, they went straight to their rooms. Sally knows her way around now because she's been going there for 10 years, but this time felt different. A cold air surrounded her. Sally, would you like to come for tea with us? Mum questioned. I'm okay, but thank you. Actually, I have a headache, so take Jack out instead. Sally convincingly said to her family, but she didn't really have a headache. Sally wanted to explore places she hasn't been before. The room is painted bright yellow, so Sally liked it. It is always reserved for the Millicent family. Sally started her mission to explore. The ship was painted as blue as the sky on a warm day. You could hear a pin drop. That was strange, Sally thought. You should be able to hear the engine. Sally didn't know what to expect in the captain's area. She stepped. Step. 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 Strange. Every odd number, the lights turned off. The door opened by itself. Is anybody here? Sally shouted. But all it did was echo round the room. It was empty. Why is it empty? He said to herself. She sat on the chair. The pillows were clouds. They were so fleecy, Sally didn't need to walk ever again. The cold, murky green wards were closing in on her. Slowly but steadily, she went through to the captain's bedroom. Every step she took, the engine went. Things were slowly arising from the bedside table. The room was unheated, with a fireplace appearing from a fuzzy chunk of air. With no one by the door, the handle turned. Liberty surrounded surrounded Sally. The creature was moving closer, two metres. Arms length. Sally can hit with her judo training. She kicked as hard as she could. Her leg kept going through guts. It grabbed Sally, 